Hey guys, it's Greta here, Ladies Relationship Coach. And today's topic for you ladies is how to get a man obsessed over you. I know, right? <laughs> so ladies, I'm going to give you today the story of Cleopatra as an example. As probably most of you know, Cleopatra was one of the biggest power for seducers in the world. So I'll tell you about how Cle what tricks Cleopatra did on Caesar and seduced him for basically the rest of his life. <laughs> so, uh, by the way ladies, um, the tricks are, it's basically manipulation, it's pure manipulation it's mind games and um, I would look I look at things like that like this knowledge is power um, but it's up to you how you're going to use it you know so I'm going to give you this power I'll give you the knowledge and it's up to you to use it a high valued way because most of these tricks are are applied by man nowadays to women Obviously, women apply these tricks as well. So, you know, like it's it's good for you to see what he's doing and to respond in the right way so you're not getting hurt. And at the end of the day, it's actually you're turning on all around and it's benefiting you. <laughs> okay? So, with Cleopatra, she was actually the first one to approach Caesar. So she was the one who kind of approached him and seduced him with sex, with, you know, moves in bed. <laughs> you know, she gave him the best pleasure that he could ever have. And after that, what she did, she went cold and she pulled away. You see that? <laughs> That's... The power of seduction is being hot and being cold, right? If you're going to give all the time, um, the guy will start taking you for granted and he will get bored. But let's say you just got a taste of a cake and then the cake is taken away from you. You're like, hold on a minute, I want the rest of that cake. But... If the cake is always given to you, you're gonna eat, 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 you enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, and then you're getting bored. So when you give a bite of a cake and then you take it away, and then you give a bite again and then you take it away, you get addicted to that cake. You're going crazy, right? So this is what she did to him. She gave him sex and then she pulled away. And Caesar was getting obsessed by her and um, Whenever we would get together um, and, you know, talk and stuff, she would tell to Caesar that she admires another guy, that she is finding him better looking, more powerful, and she would tell it to him. This way, uh, putting kind of like seeds into his head and making him go crazy, right? So she was not cheating on Caesar. She would just say... I admire him because he's this and this and that, right? So sometimes, what guys do sometimes, it's, let's say, okay, now these tricks are really bad. Um, I would say, okay, myself, if I'm dating a cheeky guy, I would probably use something like that from time to time, okay? I'm being so honest. But um, let's say if the guy is a nice guy, I would never do it to him, you know? So it's for me, it's like um, you get what you give. So, for example, what she used to do is um, what you ladies can do or what guys do sometimes. It's, um, you know, you're with a guy and let's say you're dating, I don't know, a mixed race guy or a black guy or a white guy, whichever, right? And you're with him and you see a different guy on a TV. Let's say your boyfriend, let's say is he's black, African or Caribbean or Middle East or whichever. And when you see 
a guy who uh, looks completely totally different of him like a white guy let's see or an Asian guy or whatever and when you see like oh my god I find him so good looking you know and the guy is going like going crazy thinking like how does she find him so good looking I mean what does she not fancy me you know it's like he's like he's getting a bit of paranoia but you are not making him jealous with somebody you know you're not cheating on him you're not you're not you know what i mean <laughs> you're just kind of planting little seeds in his head to make him a little bit insecure and make him wonder and think maybe he is not that good enough for you therefore maybe you like let's say the other type of guy you know and when he's thinking like oh my god maybe I need to change maybe I need to improve maybe I need to do maybe I need to seduce her more I need to step up my game because maybe she doesn't find me attractive you know so this is what Cleopatra did to Caesar she was like uh, I really admire that guy he's so strong and he's so powerful and so on so she was planting the seeds in his head and created a bit of paranoia so she was giving him hot and she would twist it a bit and make him paranoid. So basically she made him completely obsessed over her. She basically seduced him by being hot and cold and at the same time by creating this love in him, you know, the power of seduction. So ladies, if you will use these tricks, use it very gently and be wary of it. But I would say instead of using these tricks, it's better to be aware of them. And when the guy is doing these things to you on purpose, the best reaction is no reaction. That way he will think like, hold on a minute. I'm doing this to her and she doesn't care what's going on. Does she not love me? Does she not like me? Or I'm making her jealous by telling her that, let's say, um, for example, I look, I'm white, right? And he would tell me that, let's say, he finds, um, let's say, Beyonce really attractive, you know? Why is she not getting jealous that, you know, Beyonce looks completely opposite of her and I find her attractive, you know? So it's just like no reaction whatsoever because you know what he's doing and play it safe. He's just pushing your buttons, right? Because <laughs> he cares and he wants you to go crazy. So don't go crazy and you will have him at your feet by doing a high value thing, which is no reaction, okay? So ladies, <coughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please press like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I on also answer the first question free, so if you have any questions um, about dating and relationships and you need some help, uh, please WhatsApp me your question to if you live abroad to 0044751089-3592 and if you live in the UK it's 0751089-3592. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked it and thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye!